Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new Victoria's Secret Fuchsia Fantasy Collection. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started! Victoria's Secret has released their late summer slash early fall collection called Fuchsia Fantasy, and I'm excited because the fall and winter collections tend to be my favorites. The collection is available now both online and in store, although store stock can be kind of hit and miss. I didn't initially see the full collection available in any store near me, so I went ahead and ordered mine online. There are four new scents in the Fuchsia Fantasy collection, and I picked up all of the mists and lotions. All of the notes sounded good, so I have high hopes for the fragrances. I also think that the packaging looks pretty in varying shades of pink, so I think they were maybe going for a Barbie theme since that's the craze right now. The collection includes Petal Buzz, described as a rosebud so fresh it's electric, ripened with grapefruit and pink pepper. Sugar Blur, described as vanilla sugar so whipped it's hazy, floating with amber and sheer raspberry. Nectar Pulse, described as peony nectar so bright it vibrates, bursting with musk and crushed blackberry. And Berry Spill, described as strawberry so juicy it overflows, sparkling with orange and blonde woods. And now let's get on to the reviews. And first up is Petal Buzz, which comes in pretty pale pink packaging. And this has notes of blooming rosebud, ripe grapefruit, and pink pepper. And this opens with the scent of fresh rose petals, as well as the grapefruit, which isn't too sharp. At first, the rose is a bit strong, but it does soften over time. And I don't really get the pink pepper much, other than a hint of spiciness. To me, this is a fruity floral scent, with rose being the dominant note, and the grapefruit adding a light citrusy sweetness. And while this does have that subtle sweetness, it's not what I would call a sweet scent, though it does seem to get sweeter as it dries. I like rose scents, so I do like this one, but I'd probably layer it with a sweeter scent. And as far as the lotions, they all seem to have the normal Victoria's Secret body care consistency, so they're not very thick and are actually a bit thin. The Petal Buzz lotion scent is very similar to the mist with the fresh rose petals, but the grapefruit is a bit softer. There's also some added creaminess that makes the scent feel a bit sweeter than the mist, so I actually like the lotion a little more. All of the comparisons in this video will be from Victoria's Secret, and first I have Ruby Rosé, with notes of sparkling raspberry, velvet rose, and red plum. And this is a sparkling, boozy scent that smells like berries and rose petals soaked in champagne. The rose is soft and a bit powdery, and there's also a subtle amount of sweetness, as well as a hint of the dark plum. These both have a fresh rose petal scent, but Ruby Rosé's fruit is darker, while Petal Buzz feels brighter. Next, I have Crushed Petals, which has notes of apricot rose, vanilla caviar, and white currant. And this is a vanilla floral with a lot of rose. And there's a greenness to it as well, as if the leaves and stems were included. The fruit doesn't stand out much, so I mostly get the soft, green-leaning rose. These both have a fresh rose, but Crushed Petals is sweeter and more vanillic, while Petal Buzz is more fruity and rose-heavy. Then I have Patchouli Rose, with notes of rose, patchouli, and peach. And this is a pretty rose scent with a bit of earthiness from the patchouli. It has a nice sweetness from the peach, which feels fresh and juicy. I find that the rose in patchouli rose is sweeter and more jammy versus the fresh rose in petal buzz. And finally, I have Island Market, which has notes of bright passion fruit, tiger lily, and fresh grapefruit. And I wanted to compare a scent with grapefruit, and this has a mix of sharp passion fruit and citrus. The tiger lily brings in a floral note, along with a subtle sweetness. Overall, it's a tropical scent that I feel leans more floral than fruity. These are both florals with grapefruit, but the tiger lily in Island Market has a much different feel than the rose in Petal Buzz. Next up is Sugar Blur, which has deeper pink packaging. And this has notes of vanilla sugar, bright amber, and sheer raspberry. And this opens with a sweet, sugary vanilla that feels light and fluffy like cotton candy. There's also a soft raspberry that doesn't feel sharp. It's definitely more on the syrupy side. The amber gives the scent a bit of a powdery feel that's light and sweet. And to me, this is a bright raspberry scent with a lot of sugary sweetness. I love super sweet scents, so I really enjoy this one. As far as the lotion for Sugar Blur, 
It shares the same sweet, sugary quality as the mist, but with an added creaminess that feels even more vanillic. The raspberry also feels softer than in the fragrance mist. And for comps, first I have Blushing Bubbly, with notes of pink champagne, muddled raspberries, and glowing mimosa. This is a very bright and bubbly, fruity scent with a lot of sugary sweetness. The raspberries kind of smell like mixed berries, and there's a subtle floral note as well. To me, it basically smells like fizzy, sugary fruit punch. These share the raspberry and sugary quality, but the raspberry is softer and sugar blur, while Blushing Bubbly is more fruity, as well as having the sparkling quality. Next, I have Nectar Wave, which has notes of fresh agave and pink berries. And this is a pretty, soft berry scent with a lot of syrupy, sugary sweetness. It has a cotton candy type of feeling and is very fruity and sweet. These are both sugary sweet scents with berries, but Sugar Blur has an almost citrusy brightness to it, as well as a vanilla quality, while Nectar Wave is sweeter and more syrupy. And then I have Ruby Rose again, with notes of sparkling raspberry, velvet rose, and red plum. And I also wanted to compare this with Sugar Blur. And again, this is a sparkling, boozy scent that smells like berries and rose petals soaked in champagne. The rose is soft and a bit powdery, and there's also a subtle amount of sweetness, as well as a hint of the dark plum. These both have raspberry, but Sugar Blur is sweeter and brighter, while Ruby Rose is darker and more floral. Next up is Nectar Pulse, which comes in purpley pink packaging. And this has notes of peony nectar, effervescent musk, and crushed blackberry. And this opens with a bright peony and a syrupy blackberry. There's a bit of an almost bubbly quality that must be the effervescent musk, and that also gives the scent some lightness. The peony has an almost sharp, citrusy feel at times, and the scent doesn't feel very nuanced to me. It's just a musky, fruity floral with a dark, syrupy blackberry. There is some fruity sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. And I think this one is okay, but it doesn't feel like anything special. And the lotion for Nectar Pulse shares the soft peony and sweet syrupy blackberry as the fragrance mist. It also has some creaminess and feels brighter overall. And for comps, first I have Blackberry Bite, with notes of wet blackberry, chilled amber, and water lotus. And this is a juicy blackberry scent with a syrupy sweetness. There's a soft floral and some warmth from the amber. And overall, it's a dark berry scent with a light candied sweetness. These both have blackberry, but it's sweeter and more prominent in Blackberry Bite, while Nectar Pulse feels more floral. Next, I have Berry Elixir, which has notes of vanilla bourbon and muddled berries. This scent has a mix of syrupy berries and sweet, boozy vanilla. And the vanilla has a dark quality without feeling overly alcoholic. I thought these might have a similar berry, but Berry Elixir is much deeper and vanilla heavy, while Nectar Pulse is brighter and more floral. And then I have Berry Santal, with notes of juicy blackcurrant, soft sandalwood, and fresh bergamot. And this has a lot of sweet, juicy berries that have a bit of a sugary, candy-like feel to them. The berries feel dark and the fruit turns syrupy, but the scent retains a little brightness. It has a bit of greenness as well as some powderiness, but the scent isn't overly sweet. It's really a dark, syrupy berry scent with warm sandalwood. These share a dark berry with some brightness, but Berry Santal is more woody, while Nectar Pulse is musky and floral. And lastly, I have Berry Spill, which has pinkish red packaging. And this has notes of juicy strawberry, blood orange, and blonde woods. And this opens with juicy strawberry and bright orange. And the fruit has a very sweet, candied feel. The strawberry is more prominent than the orange. And I feel like the woods are bringing additional sweetness, as well as a kind of clean feeling. To me, this is a very easy to wear, sweet, fruity scent. It smells like juicy strawberry candy, and I really like it a lot, though I wouldn't say it's very unique. And as far as the lotion for Berry Spill, it has a strong candied strawberry quality with a bit of the orangey brightness. It has some creaminess that mixes really nicely with the woods and fruit, and it's also pretty sweet. And for comps, first I have Pure Seduction Luxe with notes of Posh Violet, Strawberry Nectar, and Regal Plum. And this is a sweet strawberry candy scent with powdery violet and some dark plum. I feel like it has a woody quality that's similar to scents like Sol de Janeiro's Tarosa 68. These both have a candied strawberry, but Pure Seduction Lux feels darker and a bit more elevated with the powdery quality and plum, while Berry Spill feels brighter and more juicy. I really like both of these, 
And I feel like Berry Spill is the daytime version and Pure Seduction Lux is better suited for evening. Next, I have Palm L'Orange, which has notes of sweet pomegranate, blood orange, and luscious cranberry. And this is a strong, sharp, fruity scent with an alcoholic feel. The orange gives it some brightness, and it also has a subtle sweetness, as well as what I think is a floral note. These share the blood orange, but are otherwise pretty different. Palm L'Orange is much sharper, while Berry Spill is sweeter and brighter. And then I have Orange Flower Sun, with notes of citrus blossoms, blush woods, and bubblegum petals. And this is a bright, citrusy, bubblegummy floral. The citrus feels like it has orange, and the scent is sweet, woody, and a little powdery. These both have citrus and are really sweet, but Orange Flower Sun is much more creamy and bubblegummy, while Berry Spill is more like strawberry candy. Overall, I really like this collection, and I can see wearing these scents as we move from summer into fall. I didn't dislike any of the scents, but there were definitely some standouts. If I had to rank these, my least favorite would be Nectar Pulse. It's a decent, dark, syrupy blackberry scent with musk, but it just doesn't grab me or feel very memorable. Next would be Petal Buzz, which is a pleasant rose scent with a light citrusy sweetness. Then Berry Spill would come in second, with its sweet candied strawberry scent. And it also seems like the strongest of all the mists. And that leaves Sugar Blur as my favorite. It's a nice bright raspberry scent with a lot of sugary vanilla sweetness. Though unfortunately, while I do love this scent, it did seem a bit lighter than the others. So that's it for my review of the Fuchsia Fantasy Collection from Victoria's Secret. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give any of them a try. Thank you for watching, I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.